Good morning. Let's go see some piggies that just had babies. If you guys watched the Animal Kingdom show on Disney Plus, these Barbaruzis just had two funny little babies. They're not here, so I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all right. Maybe the Babaruzis are on the ride. They might have gone on the ride now. What a great way to start a Sunday. I don't know. Okay, first thing we're going to do, and we're really going to do it, is we're going to ride River Journey, and then Flight of Passage, then we'll see some animals, and then we're gonna do Everest. I have not done Everest in like two years. I noticed that like around, let me check my, my watch that I'm not wearing, around 11 o'clock, it gets, I just become soaked. Like everything on me is just wet, everything. much commentary for this ride. Not much really happens until you get to this thing. Whatever on earth this is. This is now the Flight of Passage parade route. Um, what they do is they stop you from going through and then the Flight of Passage line parades across. I didn't say what we were doing yet. I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm acting like it's like I have to be super quiet in here. But we're riding Flight of Passage. I'm going to wedge myself into that seat and it is going to close on me just fine. Because you know, let me tell you all a story. One time, a good two years ago, it was like, yeah, it was about two years ago. I had hopped myself and straddled myself onto the seat. The restraint came up, the alarms went off, people were screaming, everyone's yelling. I'm like, what's going on? Thinking nothing's happening. I'm like, what's happening? It, it was Halloween party time, I remember now. She comes over and she goes, these alarms are going off because of you. And I said, because of me? And she said, yeah, because of you. She said, you don't fit. I said, what? She said, you don't fit. And I said, I didn't say anything. I got up and I just got out of the ride and I said, I need a pizza now. <laughs> that really is a true story, actually. The most Welcome to the Avatar the program. World. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi ride of passage. I don't know if I flying on the back of this powerful animal know. called an Ikra, or as we call it. It's like, even though I know all that's fake, I still like duck and like turn and I'm like, oh gosh, that's so scary. But any, that story I was telling you is actually really true. I think I was in like such denial of how out of hand I had gotten. Even that day though, it was like something in me just didn't change yet. I don't know. Very strange. And I really did kind of just go like that, except I went to the Halloween party instead of getting pizza. We are at Satouli. We just mobile ordered and it's ready to pick up and we're getting my favorite lunch here. Now this lunch tastes like, look at that, little McDonald's cheeseburgers. Can you guess what it is? Hold on. It's a little cheeseburger pot. It's like a, it tastes like McDonald's. I'm in the bathroom, so I'm going to have some cheese cooking. I found the world's smallest thing. Wow. The line for River Journey all the way out to the bridge, all the way to Creature Comfort. The line for Flight of Passage goes all the way down to the Lion King, and then all the way back around down the bridge. Now we're going to do the safari, and I'm not gonna waste any time. I mean, I'm like, I'm not gonna show you guys the ride. If I see an animal, I'm just gonna go bam, 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 animal. Animal, no animal, no fridge, you know? Waste your time, waste our time. We don't want to do that here. I changed the agenda. The only thing that we're going to film is the Bonta Bach. Oh, yes. Look at him. He's walking under the water. He's, he's, he's really walking. 
the zebra is from episode two. Just like human fingerprints, no two zebra stripes are going to be the same. You're individual to the zebra. Laying down on your left hand side on that hill. The zebra is from one. episode two. African wild dogs are the most successful predator in the world. The Disney Plus. Yeah. I think it's 99% success rate when it comes to the zebra giraffe special. The baby takes their speed and their endurance. If you guys haven't watched that, I highly recommend it. It's really great, but you learn that all of these little crews here, these are all families. Like they're like legitimately like little families. Like these, look, 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 look at that. Oh my goodness, that's a mom, a dad, and the baby. Tower, a tower of giraffe. They tower over every other animal on these. Oh, it's your baby. Now, there you go. There you go. That's some footage you need in your life. Oh, look at it. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my gosh. Three and three. Three lined up zebra butts. Three on our right hand side, we're going to see some more giraffe as well. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's, that's now, magnificent. Right so, in this group of, of, of beast, right there is a sleeping baby spring dog. It's funny because when we first got on this, I was telling you guys I won't waste your time if there's no animals around to film the ride. We're seeing so many animals. So many. We're seeing zebra butts, giraffe butts, giraffe side profiles, zebra heads. We're seeing spring bugs. Right hand side, we're going to get a glimpse of an elephant. Back side of an elephant. What? What? What did I miss? What did I miss? Now, on your right hand side. Oh, he's pooping. Look past what's happening. His ears are flapping. Oh, boy. I hope you guys weren't eating. He's cooling down their core body temperature by at least 15 minutes. He's cooling down his body temperature by pooping. I'm so happy for him. Lots of butts on this safari. This is Matt. You learned that from the show on Disney. Oh, 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 he's taking water and splashing it. We missed it. That's a good looking rhino. Look how close he is. He's going to chase us. They have terrible hands and they can't see the bones. We, the bonds are left in the entire wilderness. They've been poached nearly to the extinction. Now the bonds were being poached in the wild for their fur coat, although they're brown. They could sometimes turn from that. What is this little house? I've never seen this little house before. Now while you're here with us, who's going to live there? Guys, I'm going to check out as much as you can about our animals. I don't know. What's going on in that house? So but my curiosity has been super about your favorite animal. And maybe they're harsh. I don't know what's going on in that little part. Individually help that animal. Whether it's your pet or your friend's family. Whether it's uh, more bus. Chicken. Bus. It's a rare day that we get off a safari and actually learn something new. Today, I learned that they take the ostrich eggs off of the savanna and the, they decorate them at Christmas time and sell them in the gift shops. I have never seen this, but they said it all goes to the Disney Conservation Fund. I will have to look out for that. I also learned cheetahs are bad hunters and I learned that chickens are coming to the reserve. They have some Halloween snackies here. Nothing that like, I'm like, oh, that's totally unique for Halloween, but they have like a Jack, a Mummy, and a Mickey pumpkin. Okay, we're going to park it and eat. Is that a cozy? Oh my god, wow. It's so big. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, you guys, we're going to go back and check out the Disney I know this is really weird. Out of all the Halloween snackies, we have snacks. This one's the best one. It's been a really fun day here, actually. I mean, we've done a lot. We did Navi, we did Navi flying, we did snacks, we did 
lots of lots of animals a whole lot of animals you saw the train drive by I think we're going to skip dinosaur today because I don't know I guess old age isn't doing well for me and I can't really handle the even though I'm doing it to myself right now but we're gonna do one more ride and then and we'll call it a day I forgot how scary this ride is Roller coasters that I cannot handle anymore. Rock and roller coaster, Thunder Mountain. Thunder Mountain's all right. Definitely not rock and roller coaster, but this I can handle. This was great. I loved it. I thought it was fun. It was still smooth, and it was a, a just a joy, a delight, a real treat for the day. Here's something wild for the day. Wild because it's Animal Kingdom. You know, it's wild. The line for Expedition Everest, all the way to Restaurantosaurus. Now I'm not good at math and I don't ever pretend to be, but this is, this is 25%, I don't know. Six feet times five times 43 divided by seven, it's just not adding up. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at, are we allowed, am I, oh, yes. Oh, I love you. Goodbye. Farewell. Farewell, Pluto. That was great. I absolutely love this part of Animal Kingdom. I was hoping on the exit out I could provide some closure for the cute little piggies that um, were born here. I have nothing I can say, I'm so sorry. They must be sleeping. But. They are not here. It's just getting really hot. It is the acorn battlegrounds out here. 